I got this, um, and the first song I wrote on this was um, Sweet Part of the City. The... Which I think they're like a newer company. I don't know. It's just, it, the thing is, it sounds decent and it plays well and, you know, it's easy. Have fun, guys. be all dusty. You know what I mean? Like, fucking living in Brooklyn, I pulled the, um, I was recording with this thing the other day, you know, like Pro Tools. Mm -hmm. And I was doing a track and it was one of those things where I was like, I had another idea. I was like, shit, I'm gonna forget it. So I tried to throw this thing on the bed and I forgot that it was plugged in. Dusty's gonna be so bummed out. He's gonna have to fix that. Cause he put the pickup in it. You know, it's a, it's got a resonator pickup in it inside the resonator. But um, I actually got this from Kip from TV on the radio. Um, sort of indirectly, he traded like it was a pedal trade. Mm -hmm. Effects. He wanted effects, and I wanted the guitar. This is kind of my bus guitar, I guess is what I would call it. Like. Do, this, do you go down to the subway and do that? No, no, no not bus, bus. Like, oh, this, bus. Yeah, this is, I take this, this guitar goes with me on tour, but um, it just stays on the bus. I mean, this hasn't been out of the case probably in five years. It's a 78 Artist and Les Paul that's actually signed by Les Paul. You know, they did, it's got the old... Gibson logo on it, the, you know, the floor. Um, they're super heavy. Um, the necks are kind of thin, um, or I guess more appropriate, they're like, they're more shallow. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, they've got this big volute on them, so the headstock, reinforce the headstock. Oh, and this actually, I did a uh, little photo shoot with Right, Gibson and Les Paul was there, and they, I, he signed my guitar. What so. year is that? Seven? Oh, seven? Uh, yep, yeah, yep, that would be, yeah, it was oh, seven. This is a 51 um, Tally. Uh, I believe that's, I want to say that's the first year, September 1951. This is a guitar I'm not super comfortable having in my house. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it sounds incredible, and it plays great. <laughs> In terms of value, you know, the tuners have been changed on this. Somebody spray painted it black. Uh, or I'm sorry, not spray painted it black, but somebody painted it. It was the kind of butterscotch, whatever. Um, all of, everything else is fine. The wiring is good. The pickups are accurate and everything. So this, is, this isn't like a highly maybe collectible guitar in that way. But this, you know, he gave me... I've already written two songs on this. It was one of those things that, like, I kind of picked it up and it was like... If it, if it feels good and it sounds good, then it can kind of, and, and depending on the guitar, that'll, that can sometimes lead you to a uh, song stylistically, possibly. You know, every guitar has a few songs in it, um, for probably everybody that owns it. And that's kind of why I like to, you know, you sell some stuff, you buy some stuff, you trade some stuff, or whatever, because you, you get something new and... It, that's inspiring in the same way like a great novel. This is, I would say, this is the guitar I write on the most. This is uh, an uh, LG2. Um, it's the Arlo Guthrie. It's like a three-quarter acoustic. You gotta have something around that you can pick up all the time. And this is the, kind of the perfect guitar for that. Because it's a newer one, so it's not precious. I don't really care if it gets knocked over or broken or bumped or dinged or whatever. And it sounds good and it's fun to play, so. And if we're writing, we're writing. And that we usually, like, what we've been doing is we'll, like, rent a house somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll go go and set up for a week and then we can all hang out and kind of, you know, be there and be creative and stuff. Or we'll get together. You know, a lot of it is just Craig and I sitting around on the couch here or at his place. Um, the, first, the first whole city record was... 
me sitting at his kitchen table with a guitar and him kind of pacing around his his you know apartment singing like that's how we wrote the record pretty much sort of my big test i think for a song is if you can't play it on an acoustic guitar with the vocals and the melody and and maybe a tambourine or a shaker then it's not it's not a good song <laughs>